Well, welcome to Cell Size Channel, dedicated to research and development directed at improving the treatment of cancer, autoimmune, and infectious disease. Joining to give us some high-level overview of the recent news, Geert Kirsten, the CEO, is always welcome back, sir. Well, thank you so much. It's been a while since we've last talked. I know, and it's uh, on the back of some absolutely pivotal news that kind of brought us together. And I'm just going to read the headline here to try and hopefully help you get across how pivotal this is. A cell size multi-kind increased five-year survival rate to 82.6% and locally advanced uh, resectable uh, head and neck cancer patients, if I'm saying that correctly. But can you tell us what, is, what this means uh, and what it kind of means for shareholders? So the bottom line is we are in the process of developing a pre-surgical cancer drug. Think about it. All the people who've had cancer, it's generally surgery, radiation, chemo. There's no pre-surgical cancer drug. There's no cancer drug that's not toxic. We are basically the non-toxic pre-surgical cancer drug. And why would you want it? Because you have to conquer the cancer, destroy it with that very, very first set of treatments. Because if it comes back, usually you're in big trouble. So that's what we do. And it's non-toxic. Now, on that note, uh, moving forward, what should uh, we be paying attention to most here? I know it's been a little bit. We're getting into the latter half of the year. What are you paying attention to here moving forward? Well, it's very simple. We had tremendously good data from a huge study in head and neck cancer, which is from under your nose, Dr. Clavicle, sixth the biggest cancer in the world. We, the reason we picked that as an initial target, and then we wanted to breast cancer, melanoma, cervical, but we'll do that in conjunction with a big pharmaceutical company, right? But, so we want to prove this disease on this horrible, uh, this, 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 uh, this product on the basis of this horrible cancer, where literally people have not succeeded in improving the lot of these uh, newly diagnosed patients in, I think it's over 50 years. So in the last four years, Pfizer failed, uh, Bristol-Myers failed, the American mark failed, and three months ago, the German mark failed. It was supposed to be the next blockbuster. They lost, they lost $10 billion. So what did our study show? It showed that we have almost four years of extra life, which is massive, right? I mean, you get FDA approval for two months extra, but almost four years of extra life as long as you don't use the chemo. But some people have to get the chemo. So we met the rate with the regulators. Everybody was really open-minded. This is great, but you need to do extra work. So it's great. Okay, now we know exactly where this drug works. And the results are so good. Think about it. 45% of the people who get the who don't get our drug are alive at five years. With us, it's almost double. It's not a little improvement, it's almost double. So what you may be interested in is a few weeks, maybe a week ago, um, Summit Pharmaceuticals, the stock symbol SMMT, announced that they had a great success in lung cancer. It was a purely Chinese study, <clears throat> which based on everything I've seen in the last few years means they're going to have to do study again in the US and in Europe, because we don't accept purely Chinese uh, studies because they're genetic differences. The stock is trading for almost $30 billion. Why is that? Because if you can extend the life of a cancer patient in a material way, the valuation, there, there literally is no price that's too high for these things. And that's what we have, right? We have doubled basically the survival with no toxicity. There's no competitor because everybody else has failed. And we just, you know, no, now we know we have to go and get the work done. It's that simple. Yeah, I think this is truly pivotal, not only for shareholders, but the lives are changing as well. And I love seeing this story evolve. And if you guys want to see the story continue to evolve and hit uh, see the news as it hits the wire, consider subscribing. Let us know what you think in that comment section below. But as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.